Look at that. We are live. You can't see my picture there. There it is. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Monday Night Live class where we come together every Monday night from 7 to 8 o'clock Eastern Time here on the Pacific East Coast, the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing on the east coast of the United States and uh, we come together and we practice drawing So I am glad you're here. Let me turn off this light off behind me here and uh, Yeah, so welcome Welcome to live Monday Night Live. It's always a I know we're always pretty tired when it comes to Monday But uh, it's a good way to start the week get fresh so listen, we have, uh, let me just hit you up with a couple things before we get into our picture here. Um, a couple quick things. Let's see, we have a, gr a very robust and active Facebook group. You can find the link in the description below. We also have a beginner's workshop class that is uh, free of charge. That's right below too, you can hit that link. And uh, that will give you all the, basic, the basics that you need in order to really uh, get going with drawing. We also have a paid class that meets every day called the Daily Draw, and that's also in the description. Okay, that's the business I have. Do me a favor, please like the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and in the comments, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right, there you go. The business is done, and we can move into what we're all here to do is to draw. But I appreciate all of the support from everybody. And uh, let's let's get into this, okay? Uh, okay, so let's talk about tonight before we start drawing this idea of of proportion and measurement. So whenever whenever we see something, uh, we want to use measurement to in order to establish the relationship of objects, the distance of things, how they're lining up, and there's a number of ways we could do that. A common way, or, or they're, they're, these are all common ways, but one way that I see all the time is the grid method, method, the grid method, okay? This has been used for a very long time where someone would take a grid, and many of you in our Facebook group, I've seen them do this. You'll take a grid, something like this, and then you'll, you'll put it on, on top of the picture. It doesn't really help that I've made it so dark, but you get the idea. And then you draw everything within those little squares. Now that that will work fine if you are if you are drawing it from a flat picture. But this does this method doesn't help or doesn't work if you're actually drawing it from observation. And when it comes to drawing, um, observation is is probably one of the best ways to really uh, push yourself in your mind drawing from observation. You see something in, in real time, not from a picture, but you see something and you put it down. So this grid method would not work in that scenario. You just can't project a grid floating in midair. So I'm gonna show you a different, a different way to use measuring to really accomplish the same results as a grid method, but you can use this when you are actually drawing from observation. All right, so let's let's remove this entirely. And what I like to use is this idea called using horizontal lines, vertical lines, and negative space. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, let's 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 turn around. I'm going to use the the background here of our house. And if I was to use a vertical line, so you could you could see like you could see that the TV sets right there. And if I just put an imaginary line, I'm gonna use my pencil for this. You can see that it closely lines up. What is that? Oh, my wife's purse. Where is it? Right, right there. My wife's purse is right there. So you could see if I used a vertical line, the edge of the TV lines up with the inside part of my wife's purse. You see that? So let's, that's, that's using a vertical line. If, if I wanted to see something that was horizontal, and and I could use the same technique where I could line someone up like right here look at this my mouth hey Leah what's going on 
my mouth, my mouth right here is lined up vertically with these lights from our chandelier. So let's see here. And there it is. Look at that. Lines up exactly. And even, even my mouth horizontally lines up with the top of the TV set. You see that? So you could, you could use these visual cues to try and get everything to snap into place. All right, so we're gonna do something similar to that. So when I'm using measurement, I'm visually looking at vertical, vertical alignments, horizontal alignments, and, and I'm also using negative space. What is negative space? If I, if I held my hand up like this, let's go like this, 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 would be the, uh, this would be the negative space. Let me just come around here. That's the negative space, and that's creating a shape. So I would, I would look for those type of shapes, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into our drawing and I'll demonstrate how we can start to use this process. And remember when I draw from a picture, I always try and think of the big, the big idea and narrow it down. Almost think of this. If, if, if I told you to draw a map, if I was going to draw a map of, you're gonna draw a map of your country. Well, in this case, I'm going to draw a map of the United States. Now, would I start to draw, if I was to draw the map of the United States, would I start with the, I, I'm from the state of Pennsylvania, would I start with the state of Pennsylvania? No, I would, I would get a big, I would draw something like this, and this is just from memory here, I would draw a shape maybe like this. I, I think this is like the general shape of the United States. So I might start start with something like that, and then then I would think, okay, well the well the state of California comes in like this, and then you have Oregon and Washington. So you could see, I take the bigger shape and start to break it down. You see, and then I can start to really like, oh, okay, well in that case, San Francisco is about there, Los Angeles is somewhere about there. I think Seattle is way up there and I'm able to start pinpointing even smaller details. This is the same process that we take when we're drawing. So let's, let's take this uh, picture of this coffee, this coffee bar in Argentina, all right? So what we're gonna do is first start off with a rectangle that's similar in size to our picture. And feel free to, uh, what was I gonna, I was gonna say something, I just like totally missed. Oh, I know. Um, when we're drawing, these drawings are only supposed to take about an hour. Let's see, Leah says, trying to get my TV on YouTube because my phone is too little. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so, uh, the, make sure when you draw, when you draw these pictures, especially during our hour here, Make sure you could draw them kind of small. You know, I mean, I'm talking like, like that big here, about a little bit bigger than like your face, okay? All right, so we have, we have our picture, we have our uh, border going around like that. Let's first establish kind of our, um, uh, our perspective here, okay? So I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna use that as an indication right there. So that, that mark is gonna go right about there, you see that? And if I visually follow that line, it's going to come right about there. You see that? And so I can, I can visualize this about this distance here, and that's going to be right about there. Okay. So let's just quickly, I'm going to lightly draw that in as a guide. And I'm, I'm staying as light as possible. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this other one here. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this picture over just a little bit here. Okay, let's look at let's look at another point here. We got this right here. Okay, and if I follow that along, visually it's going to go right to there. So I'm looking at this distance and that distance. All right, so. Let's see, I'm gonna go with about, right about there. And I'm gonna come down here. All right, so let's, let's trust what we, 
Let's trust what we see and not what we think, because that doesn't look right to me. But I'm going with my gut on this one, okay? Remember, we're looking at the big picture here. Next, next I'm going to look at the edge of this window. So this edge of this window kind of lines up there and comes down there. I, look at that. That is almost... That is almost dead center. It's just it's off center just a little bit. So there's dead center. I'm gonna go right about there, okay? I'm gonna move mine over just slightly. Okay, there's there's my rough, quick little uh, guesstimate of about where that edge of that window is. All right, let's keep going here. Let's look at look at this. Let's let's try to estimate where this this little bar there is. And once again, if I go with the top of the page there, it's going to be a little bit uh, how close? It's about that distance there. So I'm going to go right about there. Okay. And I'm looking at this. It's about that distance there over there. So we're going to go with right about there. I think. So that's. I'm just going to draw a light, just a light, uh, a light line there. I'll come back to that. And it looks like this is, this other bar is coming up here and it's almost like the same distance right about there. So I'm going to come like, just like that, I think. And I'm gonna turn this, this right. Oh, you know what I just did? I drew in the wrong layer here. So hold on, I gotta I gotta do a little fix in here. And while I do that, you can uh, get caught up if you're behind. Oops. All right, all right, let's do this now. There you go. All right, hold on. Okay, I got that. I'm going to just adjust the angle there. All right, much better. I hope, <laughs> I hope that's lined up. All right, we're gonna keep going with this, okay? All right, look at this, look right here. And I'm gonna change my color back to my red. There it is, right there. Okay, that's, the edge of that table is right about there, right? So let's kind of like guesstimate this distance there, right? There it is right there. And look at let's look at this edge right there and it comes out right about there, okay? Alright, so we're gonna come up there just a little bit. And how close is that? To, look at this. Look at this. Now this is where I'm talking about a measurement here. Look at that straight line, okay? And so this is just off center, that straight line there. You see that? All right, let's clear that. Get on the right layer there. Huh? So we're going to be just about there. So let's. Okay, so that's going to be roughly what I think is the edge of that table. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come in here just a little bit. All right, now now let's start let's start adding some shapes, some interesting shapes in here. So I'm going to draw this table, that table first, and I'm going to erase some of this stuff while we're at it. All right. Let's get this 
let's just roughly put this table in here and it's okay great and it's actually it's not quite straight across there's a slight angle to it trust what you see okay the other one comes in the bottom here and extends there now on this side look where it's coming out right about there so let's just kind of quickly rush that in I had no idea where to start Jamie are you okay now or did you come in late are you okay if you're not sure if you came in late I will happily and quickly review while other people can get comfortable so just say something in the chat will ya yeah, Jamie came in and said they had no idea where to start so uh, I'm not sure if that is saying that they're saying that or that's in past tense <laughs> okay so uh, I'm gonna continue on so next thing let's go ahead now so we we've got those pieces that's not too bad um, and we have uh, let's go in this, with this other table here we could put this one in as well I'm gonna watch this more than once. Okay, sounds good, my friend. I just keep looking for the bigger, the bigger pieces, okay? All right, so uh, this is gonna be the, this, this line here. Let me just double check, okay? That line there is, is the edge of that shelf. So, and this is kind of the this one here is the middle of, of this little uh, windowsill so that little bar I'm gonna kind of go like this and I'm gonna guesstimate this see what what we're doing here is we're creating almost like a uh, we are creating a uh, a grid a uh, perspective grid all right so Let's let estimate about the width of this bar window up here. And I think, I think it's like about just like that. And this is going to come. Oh, look at this. Look at the edge. That's the edge of the table there. Okay. Now look at this now. It looks like I might be a little, a little bit off on mine, but I'm going to uh, roll with it. Okay. Okay, so there's going to be the inside of that uh, beam there. You see that? And this is going to come all the way down, looks like, below the tables. Okay. Then we have, okay, so this is, let's see, this is the window there. And then our shelving is going to come out just a little bit there's that part okay there's the shelf that's coming out and it looks like there's this look at this there's a a picture picture of something up there you see that oh look at that. I drew that at the wrong angle I, I lost my concentration for one minute well that's almost straight up or down okay it's coming there now there's this beam where does this beam end up so this beam is look at this so this beam is right about there I think Okay. It is quite a complex subject. Hang in there. <laughs> yes, it is. Yep. Once once you once you start walking down a path, there's no going back, right? <laughs> okay. Look look at the the top of this opening. I 
think we could just kind of guesstimate that. It's going to come down about there. But look at this. Now this is interesting. I didn't, I'm not, look at, look at, here's negative space. You see that? Look how, that is not, that's not very uh, thick right there. That's not very wide. Okay, so let's try and match that shape. Let's match that shape right there. So that's the edge. And then it's going to be kind of like, this is the white part here. And then this is going to come down and there's, there is that shape, I think, that I just showed you, all right? And we're coming out just a little bit there. Oh, exciting. Alright, now once once I have some of these uh, once I have some of these marks in now I can start like freehanding just a little bit. Look at this, this is the corner. The corner of the room is coming out right there. Just keep looking at the bigger bigger picture of stuff trying to get the big shapes before I start getting into the the little details okay all right now um, look at this we have the tabletop here but look look at that it looks like there's napkins a napkin holder right there you see that so let's let's see if we could just kind of vision the bottom the bottom part of that napkin holder line straight up there. Oh, look at that. Look out. I did not draw that in proportion at all. I lost my concentration. There that that looks a little bit better. Oop. And tone that in slightly. I can come back and add more tone. And I'm going to get this chair in now. So this chair starts there. And it looks like there's four chairs. So if you draw all these chairs, you don't have to draw any more chairs this week. Because that's our assignment, right? All right, a slight curve there. Let's get this other one in. How far beyond this? It goes up beyond that. Look at this. Look at that right there, the corner. I'm using that corner as a measuring point. And that, that uh, back of the chair goes just beyond it. And I can already see that some of my proportion is off, but once again, I'm like, I'm in it, and I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Now, over here, he has another, there's another chair right there. But this one has like some type of uh, cloth or somebody's jacket on it. So let's let's see what we could do with that. So in order for me to pull that off, now look, it goes way over here. You see that? You see it comes way over there. So I'm just gonna look at the bigger shape. Looking at shapes now. This just kind of drapes down here. You see this? And there's some tone over here. So I'm just going to put that in just for conversation's sake. Make sure that no one gets on my case, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to keep going here. 
Tell me if I need to slow down. We got the this other chair. Look at that. The other chair is coming back over here. It's like putting together a puzzle, huh? All right. So let's get this. Um, okay. So I'm going to get my window in here next. Man, I, it is so nice to be back drawing again. With all the problems that we had last that I had last week with the uh, tech, with the technology and all that stuff, just really got me down. Well, that was two weeks ago, but it kind of kind of messed us up in our process, you know. All right, here we go. We're we're continuing here. I'm I'm just kind of drawing in the shape of those windows there. I see there's some other things that I'm neglecting, but I'll come back and hit those hit those in a second. Okay, looks like right here I've got a some type of got to draw this in perspective now. Some type of uh, card or a Newspaper, maybe, right? At a little bit of an angle. There's some copy. Copy is like text. And I can just add some lines, but I'm thinking about it. I'm just not, I'm just not throwing it in. Okay. Just start building my shapes. Look at the cylinder. There's a cylinder for this, for this light right here. And if you're not sure how to draw a great cylinder, well, you no, know, there's a great class. The beginner's workshop goes over that sort of thing. Now, I I drew mine a little a little too uh, little too strong, but that's okay. All right, there's a clock up there. You see that? And it looks like it has another one of these, some type of plaque. And make sure that you draw that plaque in perspective. These, uh, the numbers on the clock are also in perspective. So make sure you're every little bit will help to reinforce the story. Boy, I bet you can't wait for us to draw this this guy here, huh? Well, he's coming up. Again, for this text, I'm just using lines and squiggles. <clears throat> and I don't know what happened to mine. I don't think I made my picture wide enough, so that's why I'm missing my other parts of my windows there. You may have made yours wide enough. Okay, it looks like there, there's an arm of some sort that's kind of like coming up there, right? And then, 
let's see what's going on with this here okay we're coming down this is going to be in perspective there it looks like they've got some molding and this is shape I, I don't know what this I don't know what that shape is but then it kind of comes down here and this is let me show you what I'm looking at right now I'm looking at that little corner and asking myself how is it in this relationship what's that relationship between those two points Right there that looks good okay we're coming down now and now there's a picture it looks like a, a sailor or something you see that that's going in this perspective here and now this little picture here look this is how I'm going to draw this guy. I'm going to start off with a little square for his head. And just do something like this. Put his eyes in just with a line. And it looks like his hands. His hands are folded, right? Let's add some tone here. And he's got some hair on top there. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, John? Are you sweating? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Now, okay, let's get onto this guy here because I'm I'm dying to get him get him in place here. But look at this. We have all we have all of these extra measurements now. Now we can start to really get this gentleman in the right proportion you see that so uh, this is the edge of my window here this is the corner that's the corner over there so all I'm going to do is start off with a square for his head and it's small where is the table here okay I'm just kind of trying to look close a lot of times we have the habit of drawing people bigger than they actually are so there is my rough, just almost almost like a tapered square, slightly. And his he's looking down, so I'm gonna see more of his ball head. So I wanna make sure I'm just gonna put a line down here to indicate where his eyes are gonna go. And now his shoulders are right about where his eyes are. Look at that. And they're going to come down like this. You see that? And then this, this side's the same way. It's going to come down right about there. And he has a newspaper. So let's, let's get this newspaper in now. Where is, let me show you this. This is what I'm looking for. There is the center of the newspaper. There is the edge and there is the edge. So those, those are the, those are the points that I'm trying to line up somehow. So let's see here. If I go, all right. So that's going to be the corner is going to be right, right to his head, right there. This part is going to go outside the window just a little bit, and this is going to come way over there. Okay. Let's roughly put that in. Nice angle here. This is going to be a nice angle there, and his paper is going to come down like this. 
little little pieces at a time. So his hand is nothing more than a, a little bit of a little bit of a rectangle. So let's put that in like that. Can't even see the other one because there's a looks like there's a, a bottle. Right. And right to the outside of his hand here, there's a little teacup. And that's going to be a cylinder. This is why it's so important for you to get really good at drawing those basic volumes. Look, we have another, looks like another... Uh, napkin napkin dish right another cube just sitting there that cube is saying man I hope you could draw this cube <laughs> I hope you could draw me it says okay continuing on All right, let's go back I'm gonna zoom into this guy just a little bit here and uh, it looks like his eyes are closed, so we're going to just, oops, I don't like that. A little bit of scallop there, and look, he's got some glasses on. And then his nose, right? And then he's got this beard. Side of, his, side of his face is in shadow. Now on top of his head, now I could come back in and make this a little round. tone here to his jacket on that side and of course this side as well it's getting pretty dark there right and then over here let's see what else he's got going another pair of glasses okay this is this is the person who is having a Danish with them for breakfast could be his wife, could be his girlfriend, right? Maybe he's, who knows? I don't think he's, I think it might be his lover. All right, got a couple glasses here. pieces of paper and I'm using surface lines here <laughs> all right let's zoom out just a bit how we're we doing there am I going too fast or are we doing okay pick this one making me sweet <laughs> who picked this one <laughs> oh, making me sweat <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick it. Can't blame me. I just put it out for a vote. All right. C continuing down here, let's kind of get this inside section here. And look, this is just kind of like a big old shape of color, but it does have this mirror over here. You see this mirror? Let's make sure that we're following our perspective. Then it looks like there's some type of like a, a case. Now, 
when you get off in some of these details, make sure that you are giving them the same attention as you did everything else. Look at it. There's a table over here, looks like. Yeah, I hope this wasn't too hard, but it's okay to have something that's like really hard because it will stretch you. Look, there's another, there's a piece of, I don't know what this is. But then there's a light. And there's something, I don't know what this thing is. I'm going to pretend like that thing is part of that lamp there, right? Over his shoulder, look at that. There's some uh, molding. Again, checking my perspective, making sure I'm still following my guides there. Still not, still not ready to start punching in dark values. I want to get as many pieces in place. Okay. John, you're not out of the woods yet, buddy. Jamie, you too. Don't give up on me. Leah, are you still with us? All right, let's go ahead now. I'm going to, I think I've got enough down. I'm going to start like adding some overall tone to this. So when I'm looking at tone, when I'm ready to start adding tone, first thing I'm going to say is where is the lightest? Well, the lightest part is on the window and on the surface of that table, the window. So I'm going to tone everything back generally that is not those objects so i'm just going to kind of go through an an overall tone in my whole picture here try and keep it as even as possible I'm just keep adding tone here. All right, we are still with us. Trying to make this tone as even. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go in now. I'm going to go in now and, and just look at the lighter areas here. I'm going to go into the darker areas, I'm sorry, and ask myself, where are the darkest, darkest shapes? Well, this, this back section back here is pretty dark. And it's creating this really interesting shape. So let's just carefully and I'm not gonna go full dark yet, but I definitely wanna Looking carefully now, taking as much time on this as I did on his face, giving this the same amount of concentration. My drawing looks like a puzzle that's been squeezed. <laughs> yes. Oh, I gotta see this. Right, coming down here a little bit. All right, now what, this is getting in pretty dark here as we kind of go around some of these shapes. There's some bits of light that's popping through down here. Got to fill this in nicely. I am, I am such a backlog of live draws to catch up on and said, Oh, that's okay. You, you know, it just, I wouldn't think too much about trying to catch up, John. I'd just keep moving forward, okay? Because if you, if you think of it like you've got to catch up on it, that will, that will weigh heavy on you. Like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get caught up on these? I mean, you can if you want, but I'd say you just move forward unless there was a live draw that you actually like. And you're like, wow, I, I wanted to do that. I'm going to get this. Over there, right? Okay. Let's be careful and go around his head a little bit, right? This is an interesting shape. <clears throat> so we got this picture back here. Going slowly on this. Yep, go slow. 
Don't rush it. Use surface lines when you can. Definitely use surface lines on like where you can to help establish perspective, like the underside of this shelf. You see that? Let's see now, his jacket here is pretty dark, right? Okay. <clears throat> now this, this outside, there's more than a few I wanted. To, okay, yeah, there's a couple more you said you want to check out. All right, so these... Look outside this window here. Let's let's take a look at we're we're down to like five minutes left. So let's take a look outside this window. And these these objects in the outside the window, let's just kind of draw them lightly. Alright, so I'm just going to draw them lightly like this. And there's there's this car here I can see. Right, and then there's the uh, curb across the street, and make sure you keep them light. There's there's some type of object here, and it looks like there's a tree trunk coming outside there. And I'm looking now, when it comes to this car and this window here, let's just look at the shapes. Let's just really lightly put in the shapes. And don't go quick. Go slowly and really... Give it your full attention. Trust what you see. Oh, you're going to draw on the way down to Florida. Oh, that's right. You guys are going to Disney World. You guys driving? Driving or taking a plane? Okay, so let's look at this uh, window here. There's some type. So I'm going to just do upper and lower curve. Okay, I mean, a upper line, a lower line, and I'm just going to do indicate some Greeking, just like that. And then the top, I'm going to do the same because I don't want to uh, spill out the word bar. And this is this is kind of a a preliminary sketch. So if if I was going to actually do this as a painting, I might actually spell out that type. Okay, get this get this corner so it's actually turning the corner. I'm going to want to make sure I tone all this in right around the corner there. Okay. 
Driving straight through. Wow. Oh, that's a long drive. We've only, you know, we've only lived out here on the East Coast for about 10 years. And we just went as far as uh, South Carolina. All right, I'm just adding some tone to these photographs that are on the wall there. Look at this. This guy's got to come in much darker now. And then this is really dark. And I'm just, I'm not going full dark. I'm just like adding some variation back in here to, uh, so it looks like there's, you know, objects in the background there. But here, now look at this. This has got to have some tone so it helps to turn the corner there a little bit. Okay. Okay, my friends. I, I think we're man, we're past the hour here. Hope you have plenty of gas money. That's right. John's gonna be at the uh, gas station there, begging for money. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna say, hey, I'll draw your picture for a for a gallon of gas. All right, I'm going to quickly add some darker tones here. And I'm going to look at this now. This is not in the picture, but I'm going to add it. <laughs> I'm going to add it because I think it'd be very interesting. And that's, that's I'm going to add the back of a chair here. And I'm going to make it almost like a silhouette. Okay, I, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. We're, we're up on our hour here and you guys have stuck around and tried to get the feel of this. You guys did a great job. A little bit of a stretch, a little bit, a little bit harder than maybe what you're used to, but totally worth it. All right, I think that's it. I hope that was helpful, everyone. Thank you for watching. My name is Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this has been our Monday Night Live. You are welcome. Have fun this week, my friend. <laughs> uh, let's see, just remember, 
when you are drawing, just remember big shape to small shape. Think of the United. Think of when I gave the demo at the very beginning of starting off with a map of the United States, breaking that down, breaking that down, breaking that down. That's all we did in this picture. I start big and go and got smaller and smaller. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, please, and uh, give me a comment, and I appreciate it. I squint my eyes and I can see the light and dark shadows. You got it, Leah, I love that. That's exactly what you could do. Okay, you guys, bam, thanks for watching. Have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.